Mexico is a country that has a rich history. Archaeologists working here have discovered incredible artifacts, helping to give us a glimpse into what life would have been like thousands of years ago. Each year researchers discover underground chambers and caves. Sometimes these are empty, but some of them are filled with artifacts and treasures. One example of this is that archaeologists recently uncovered a secret passageway to the underworld, and this was at the Pyramid of the Moon in Teotihuacan. The city of Teotihuacan is the subject of much curiosity, especially now that an underground tunnel was uncovered by archaeologists. This was underneath the mystical Pyramid of the Moon. It's believed that the tunnel symbolizes the Aztec passage to the underworld. In 300 BCE, the people of Mesoamerica built the great city as they expanded their settlements. At its prime, more than 125,000 people lived in Teotihuacan. At the time, it was the sixth largest city in the entire ancient world. Robert Calgill, an archaeologist at the University of Arizona, has stated that it was the largest city anywhere in the Western Hemisphere before the 1400s. It had thousands of residential compounds, and scores of pyramid temples comparable to the largest pyramids of Egypt. It is unknown who built the city in its entirety. Teotihuacan is older than the Aztec people by an estimated millennium. There is evidence that a variety of cultures resided in the city throughout the centuries, including the Mayans who influenced much of the architecture. It's incredible to think that in this day and age there's underground networks that are just waiting to be discovered. Recently, an interesting video was shared online. The details that a group of archaeologists were excavating in an unknown region in Mexico when they stumbled across a massive underground network, full of ancient artifacts and strange symbols. The photographs show the researchers climbing into the cave system and making their way through until they reach an opening. Once here, they discover rows of large pillars, with some saying that it reminded them of monoliths. The group found a room inside this underground tunnel, and inside are various artifacts, one of which stands out to the researchers as it appears to be in the shape of a small humanoid, possessing large eyes and a large head. Due to the strange appearance, the group goes in for a closer look, zooming in on some of the details that can be seen on the statue. It then ends after the group finds various other artifacts. Users are split. There were some that said the photographs are fake, or were created, while others said that this could be real. It's said that sometimes discoveries like this don't always reach the mainstream media, and sometimes get hidden by local governments. One user said it's likely fake, and that the video was created for attention. But others said that usually when these types of videos are faked, they're done with things like houses and feel like an art project. Many said how does one go about faking an entire cave system with rings, symbols and strange looking monoliths. One user said the following, I'm not sure how someone would be able to pull something off like this. I'm not saying that it's genuine, but to be fair Mexico is full of these underground cave systems. Who's to say that this isn't one of them? Every year we're finding mysterious things close to old archaeological sites. This could be another underground tunnel. As of right now, we only have these photographs to go by, as no one has been able to get an update as to what happened after these artifacts were discovered. Another interesting discovery that was kept hidden was made in Ecuador, and has become known as the Lost City of Giants. Local legends once told of huge prehistoric cities built by giants, hidden in the remote jungles of South America. This was a time when the world was supposedly part inhabited by these giants, who in turn created huge monuments evidencing their existence. Modern day explorers heard of these stories, and looking to find facts behind the fiction, turned to local tribes who knew these jungles. It turned out these tribes knew exactly what the explorers were talking about, and led them to what is now a holy site, and a place of worship to the most powerful spirits of this lost city of giants. 
fighting their way through dense undergrowth and thick trees in a remote part of Ecuador. The researchers were taken to a jungle clearing. There before them was a set of megalithic structures, massive prehistoric monuments built out of enormous stones. The largest was an 80 meter by 80 meter wide pyramid, which was made out of boulders that couldn't have been less than two tons each. All the stones were perfectly aligned, with sharp edges and a slope built at a 60 degree angle, with the look of a paved wall. These looked to be sculpted by human hands. To add further to this speculation, whilst Lichen had over time grown across these monuments, the researchers discovered that beneath these slow growing plants, the stones were held together by a thick layer of impenetrable substance, akin to concrete, and similar to materials used in the era of construction of the Mesoamerican pyramids. And it wasn't just these giant pyramidal structures discovered in this city of giants that were of most significance to the researchers. Further impressive discoveries were the things that possibly helped build these monuments in the first place. Oversized manufactured tools, which were found lying nearby and clearly centuries old. These were hammer-shaped objects, with solid stone hammerheads whose wooden handles had deteriorated. But with the addition of the handle, it would have been impossible for the local people of the time to have used these objects in any practical way let alone build such a precise structure to stand the test of time. For these archaeologists that found this lost city of giants, these clearly unnatural formations are the most material evidence that shows that in the past, giants so to say did inhabit the earth, leaving huge cities and megalithic structures in their wake. Debate still rages on however following this discovery. Researchers look to the Ecuadorian Ministry of Culture, to help with their findings and prompt further research. Instead, the government saw this pyramid-shaped structure as a natural formation, ignoring all the other evidence. The team that helped bring this discovery to light, however, believe that there are many indications that point to the truth. The colossal boulders, the intricate construction, and oversized tools are all clear signs that this was not a natural formation, but a clear sign that in the distant past, Humans of giant sizes walked the earth, especially in the lost city of giants. All across the United States, there are detailed witness accounts that tell consistent stories of impossible to explain humanoid dog-like creatures known as skinwalkers, that demonstrate abilities that make the creatures far more supernatural than anything else on earth. Where do these creatures come from? What do they want? Skinwalker Ranch is synonymous with mysterious happenings, but there's another ranch just west of Skinwalker Ranch that's also reported to be a hot spot of strange activity. Moonshadow Ranch has recently been featured on various websites, as previous owners have detailed strange goings on that can't be explained, with one theory suggesting that the Moonshadow Ranch is actually where the majority of the activity originates from and that spills over into Skinwalker Ranch. Previous owners and those who have patrolled the area have reported that one of the most common things to see here is that of mysterious portals, and that these were being reported on so much that government officials got involved. One user online came forward and said that they knew one of the previous owners, and that they said that a secret branch of the government came out on the property and started to conduct tests going on to say that the whole area including the Skinwalker Ranch appears to be alive. The previous owners are said to have observed these portals opening on the ranch, and they would watch as crafts would fly out of them, comparing the whole encounter to that of a wormhole, detailing that whatever flew out of them appeared to be super advanced. These mysterious crafts were also observed by the previous owners of Skinwalker Ranch, and the individual actually went on to explain that the majority of the activity actually comes from Moonshadow Ranch, but notes that Skinwalker Ranch is also active. Another unknown occurrence said to happen on the ranch is that of the sudden appearance of mysterious wolf-like creatures, which researchers have said is proof of the Skinwalker. Described as being a seven-foot-tall humanoid dog-like creature, with the antlers of a deer, the face of a wolf, 
two jointed legs and large claws located on each hand. Stories of the skinwalker found across North America have been cited as originating more than several thousand years ago, from legends as old as humanity can remember. Native American tribes regardless of different religious beliefs and origins, tell consistent tales of the skinwalker and its dealings. It's from old Navajo legends that the majority of the information surrounding skinwalkers is known. According to the Navajo tribe, when a tribal member committed a social taboo or a crime, all of the tribal members would come together and begin to perform a cursing ritual on the guilty tribe member, before banishing them from the tribe forever. Alone and cursed, it was believed that the banished tribal members would undergo animalistic transformations whenever their desires began to take control, changing them into a humanoid dog-like monster. It's due to these tales of shape-shifting, transformation, curses and humanoid forms that many cryptozoologists have made the comparison between the skinwalker and legends of the werewolf from old European tales. Moonshadow Ranch is said to be a hotspot for these creatures, and that they've also been seen crawling out of these wormholes that appear to open up over the property. Previous owners have said they've observed the creatures for a matter of seconds before they quickly run off into the night, and due to the experience happening within a matter of seconds, people haven't been quick enough to capture the majority of these events on camera. One of the issues with these ranches is that previous owners, and those who live near the ranches have said that this activity is inconstant, but note that it happens in waves, and that sometimes it can stop for weeks or months. So tracking what these things are and capturing them on camera has proven to be difficult. Oddly enough, a continuous number of reports surrounding that of skinwalkers and werewolf-like creatures seem to come from the state of Utah, the state in which the Skinwalker Ranch and Moonshadow Ranch resides. Additionally, both creatures have an uncanny ability to mimic both human voices, alongside animal sounds with stories that Skinwalker encounters lead witnesses into hearing their own voice, or a friend's voice repeated to them in perfect pitch. If we accept that the stories of strange humanoid creatures across North America are in fact encounters with the Skinwalker, what could this tell us about the species and its abilities? According to NIDS investigators, the private scientific research team deployed at the Skinwalker Ranch during its 20-year joint investigation for Bigelow Airspace and the United States Government's Department of Defense. The Skinwalker could very well be an interdimensional creature that hops between universes and uses hidden portals found within the mountains, forests and national parks of our country as entry and exit points into our world. In the documentary The Hunt for Skinwalker Ranch, NIDS researchers claim that while positioned on a ridge overlooking the Unita Basin, the team began to notice what they described as a hovering ball of white light through night vision goggles, pointed towards one of the middle homesteads of the property. As it hovered around four feet off the ground, the witness claimed that the white ball of light began to open up into an estimated three foot wide circular portal. However, on the night vision goggles, a device that can detect and measure near-infrared and ultraviolet radiation. The portal appeared to be more like a three-dimensional tunnel hovering above the ground. The researchers then described that an eight-foot-tall, completely black humanoid creature slowly began to crawl out of the three-dimensional tunnel, elbowing its way through the portal. The creature then grabbed the edges of the tunnel, pulled itself through and dropped down four feet before running out into the darkness out of sight of the researchers watching. Shortly thereafter, the portal began to close in on itself, forming a bright white ball of light before fading in intensity and disappearing entirely. Taking into account this strange sighting and encounter witnessed by the NIDS investigators, could this mean that the skinwalker creature is in fact an interdimensional species that continues to invade our world via the use of self-creating wormholes According to the NIS reports, there appears to be a substantial amount of evidence for strange connections between the distant past and present across the Skinwalker Ranch. 
So what do you make of the moon shadow in Skimwalker Ranch? And do you believe these stories? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.